I've never really talked about this before because I, I don't know I haven't been afraid to talk about it but you know sometimes I am afraid when I get in front of this camera that people are going to judge me based on decisions that I made in curriculum Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna to be talking about curriculum, and more specifically, whether or not I finish curriculum every year, and just kind of how I approach that subject when it comes to my personal homeschool, and maybe this will give you some guidelines or just a better idea of what to do in your homeschool. If it's your first time here, I wanna welcome you to my channel. Make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button and down below in the description box is the link to our free Facebook group. I also wanna make sure that I mention the $50 gift certificate giveaway and you can enter that for free for the next week or so down below in the description box and you can be one of our two winners to get a $50 gift certificate. Okay, so let's talk about finishing curriculum because I get a lot of questions about this and I've talked about this a couple of times with personal friends of mine just how we all kind of approach do we finish do we keep going what do we do do we just give up halfway through how do you how do you work that so I know that this is first a sensitive topic just because we spend money on curriculum we spend we spend a lot of money on curriculum some of us and it's hard to just not finish it sometimes. Personally, I'm one of those people who gets agitated when I don't finish something that I've started. Even if I dislike that thing, I'm the type of person that wants to finish it every single time. So I totally understand how a lot of you get annoyed when you don't finish your curriculum. I get that. I am exactly like that. I'm kind of type A in that sense. And with personal things that I do, you know, hobbies and things like that, books, I'm one of those people with books. If I finish a book, even if I hate it, I will read it to the end <laughs> because I started that book and it, I, I don't know, like I have a problem not finishing things. But when it comes to curriculum, I take a different approach and it this took a lot of really work on my part to make my brain wrap around this concept because I'm just not naturally this way so hopefully this will help you guys too if you are like me and you just like to finish things so first the answer to do we always finish the curriculum is sometimes <laughs> that's really ambiguous I know but sometimes we finish and sometimes we don't and I have one subject that I always finish no matter what and I will let you guys know what that is in just a second but first let me let me elaborate on the sometimes a little bit each curriculum is going to be different there are curricula that has you know 30 weeks to it and there's some that have maybe 10 or 15 and that's going to play a big part in whether or not we finish. If something is only like a semester course, then most likely we're going to finish it to the end. If something is a year long course, it just depends on how far that year stretches out. Yes, we are year round homeschoolers, so we have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to finishing the curriculum. So I think sometimes we have a little bit more room to play with and a little bit more flexibility when it comes to curriculum that may be like a year long length versus someone who might homeschool in a traditional type of sense where they have like that whole three month summer break. One of the reasons why we started year round homeschooling was for that flexibility because I had a work at home job and that flexibility really allowed me to have more breaks and things in between. I could take a week off if I wanted to because we homeschool year round that flexibility really does play a factor when it comes to finishing curriculum for my family personally it depends on the subject first so are we talking about a unit study or are we talking about math because those are two completely different things and we're going to take a different approach to both of those subjects so for math for instance math always gets finished in my house this is the one subject that is 
always going to be done in my house. Even if we have to go into summer, I make sure that we finish all the lessons. Math is one of those subjects that I really believe you need to finish it. Even if you have to go a little bit long, there's no, I, I don't think that there's any problem with that, especially when we're talking about going into summer because kids will brain dump math the quickest. I, I, I've seen it so many times and my own children do it. I have seen so much brain dumping when it comes to math. And when I say brain dumping, I mean, you take that, you know, month to three months summer break and all of a sudden your kids, when they go back to school, have forgot like six months of math. And then you have to spend like an entire month just playing catch up and going back over concepts that you already learned throughout the previous year. So math is one of those subjects that I really try to keep on my kids about, make sure that they finish their lessons, make sure that they finish them on time, and just to make sure that they actually finish that whole year, especially because we live in a state that does state testing. Now those are for, those tests are for the parents. So that way we know and we can have a visual of where our kids might be lacking within that certain subject. However, because that they because they do those those tests i think that it's just all the more reason to make sure that they finish the curriculum make sure that they learn all the concepts that they were supposed to learn within that year now that's just the way that we personally do it that doesn't mean that that's like the only way to do it if you don't finish it i'm not saying that you're wrong so don't don't go down that road i'm just saying that is our personal family rule when it comes to subjects. Math will always get finished even if it runs into summer. I talked about this a little bit in the last point that I made, but testing. Whether we finish the curriculum or not might actually have to do with how they did on their yearly test. So if I pop up their yearly test and start looking through their scores and I see that they, maybe they didn't do really well and maybe that there is some skills that are lacking within that subject, we're going to keep going in that in that direction and we're going to keep expanding and keep going with that certain subject. So if let's just say they didn't do very well in language arts, then I would say, okay, we're going to start doing some more language arts. We might actually do a little bit more during the day in that subject, but we would make sure to finish out the curriculum. So just as an example, let's just say my oldest scored really low on language arts and he is about 60% of the way through his language arts book. If that's the case, even if we're toward the end of the year, we're gonna keep going with that subject. Now, how far we go, how long we go, whether or not we completely finish it, we'll have all kinds of other factors play into it, you know, just personally for my child. But that's just one really like loose kind of example of how I would use that. So if they pass with flying colors and we're more than 75% done with the book, then we might just stop. You know, I mean, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on something when they've already mastered that grade and they really don't need any additional help. So those are two things that you really wanna look at. Do they need additional help and have they mastered it within like the cat test or something that you took for that year? How well did they do? And can you see like a grade mastery for that subject? So here is a teacher insider secret that maybe you remember from your school days, but many times teachers in public school don't finish their textbooks either. That doesn't mean that they go that they don't finish more than half of it. I'm just saying that just many of them, if you ask them personally, they'll still have lessons toward the end that they didn't do. And that's totally fine. And it is totally okay for you to stop if you want to stop as long as your child has mastered that subject. There's no reason for you to keep going just to keep going. You know, we don't want to just give our kids busy work just so that they're working. As long as you fulfill the requirements for your state, you can stop. And of course, all of this, just as a disclaimer, all of this, needs to be checked with your personal state. Every state in the United States is different as far as homeschooling regulations. So of course, make sure you do what your state has laid out. Let's just say that I need 180 days on books for my state requirement. And 
I feel my kids have done pretty well in all of their subjects. We could totally stop. But let's say I haven't fulfilled that 180 day requirement. We might do a unit study to fulfill that requirement, or we might still keep going in some of our subjects. It really just depends on the kid. It depends on which child it is, what their interests are, and how they're doing with their subjects. So really, you can tailor this because that's the great thing about homeschool, remember, we can tailor the education to our kids. So we really wanna take a whole education approach. And that leads me to my next and final point in this is this is about your child and their education as a whole, not about curriculum. And I know it's hard because we spend so much money on curriculum. I know, I just bought a lot of curriculum. I just spent a lot of money on curriculum for this upcoming year. And you have to trust me on this because I had to get it through my head too. Your child's education is not about the textbooks. It's not about finishing the textbooks. You're homeschooling to educate your child as a whole. So look at education from a step back. So you know, you, you might have to do what I did and just kind of step back in your brain and remember this is about the whole child, the whole education. And Charlotte Mason really touches on this in some of her books, but we're not just trying to get them to master English or master grammar or master multiplication or division. We're trying to get them to a point where they are educated. So try not to get too hung up on finishing each individual textbook. Try not to get too caught up on finishing every single book that you bought because you spent money on it. Look at how they're doing in that subject as a whole and then make that decision. Have I fulfilled my requirements? Are they struggling with this certain subject? Are, are we at least 50% of the way done with the book? You're gonna have to make those individual decisions based upon your child and their developmental level. But with some of these kind of guidelines that I'm giving you here, I know they're really loose guidelines, but with some of these guidelines that I'm giving you here, you might be able to make a better decision on whether or not your child needs to finish or keep going with that subject. And you know, sometimes there's gonna be times where you're gonna have a child who's really struggling and you might have to go through the summer. Or you might have a child who is really advanced and you might be able to stop a little bit early. Either way, this is about educating your child and not about how much money you spend on curriculum. And I know that that's really hard to hear because we all spend so much on books, <laughs> but try to keep that in mind toward the end of the year because this is the time of year where we're all frustrated and we're all kind of burnt out and we all kind of just, we're ready for summer. I know I am ready for summer. Let me know down in the comments, how do you approach finishing curriculum? How do you approach that? Do you finish all the way through? Do you finish everything every single year? Or are you kind of like me and you kind of take a little bit of a more loose approach to curriculum and kind of tailor it a little bit? I would love to know what you do personally because I've never really talked about this before because I, I don't know, I haven't been afraid to talk about it, but you know, sometimes I am afraid when I get in front of this camera that people are going to judge me based on decisions that I made in curriculum. And that's really one of the hardest things to do. And I get nervous a lot of times when I talk about these things because I know that some people are going to say things and sometimes they do in the comments. So let me know what, how, what, what approach do you personally take? I would love to hear from, from you guys, my friends, to see what you guys do. All right, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Happy homeschooling.